Another important concept. is an isentropic process. And this is one in which delta S for the system is zero. So this is a special way of combining changes in other properties in order to keep entropy constant. And for a perfect gas, where ds is cv dt over t plus r dv over v, and we're saying we want that to be zero, then dv over v is minus cv over r dt over t. So dv over v is minus cp, and remember that r is cp minus cv, then we can write Cp minus Cv. Then we can write Cv minus Cp over Cv. Dv over V is Dt over T. Now, based on the definition of gamma, we can write this as 1 minus gamma dv over v equals dt over t. Now if we integrate, we get 1 minus gamma dv over, sorry, log of v2 over v1 equals log of t2 over t1. So then Taking uh, e to the power of both sides, we get v2 over v1 to the 1 minus gamma equals t2 over t1. More commonly, you'll see this written the other way around as v2 over v1 equals t2 over t1 to the 1 over 1 minus gamma. Or, since PV equals RT, that means P2 V2 over P1 V1 equals T2 over T1 so that v2 over v1 equals t2 over t1 times p1 over p2, then we could say that p1 over p2 is t2 over t1 to the 1 over 1 minus gamma minus 1. And if we simplify the exponent, we get that p2 over p1 is just t2 over t1 to the gamma over gamma minus 1. And so this is for an isentropic process for a perfect gas. Now, for air, since gamma is 1.4, this exponent is 1.4 over 0 0.4, which is three point five for air. So why is this important? Well what does this tell us? This tells us that pressure uh goes up much faster than temperature for an isentropic process. Also if a process is reversible and adiabatic, meaning there's no heat transfer, then it's isentropic. But note, this is a one-way arrow. An isentropic process is not necessarily a reversible and adiabatic process.